You're looking at footage of a powerful new war dot drama. It's called The Girls of the Sun. It's about a battalion of women fighting to take back their homes from ISIS extremists in Iraqi Kurdistan. So it takes on themes of survival, sisterhood, and female resilience. Uh, Girls of the Sun, it's based on true events and it opens this weekend in select theaters and we're joined now by the film's director, Ava Hussan is joining us. Ava, nice to have you with nice us. Nice to be here. Thank I you. mean, when we say this is really fact-based, it was the accounts of so many young women, right? About 7,000 uh, Yazidi women were kidnapped, uh, women and children, sorry, were kidnapped by ISIS and pretty much half of them escaped uh, very early on and about 2,500 are still account unaccounted for. Huh. Yeah, so. so Ava, you went and you talked to some of these women and then you put this uh, drama together? I, I interviewed the, the women who had escaped. Okay. Yes. You did? How many did you talk to? I don't know, about 20, 25, you know, <coughs> sorry, and um, I talked to the people who exfiltrated them also, the congresswomen who played a big, big part in this, uh, in terms of organizing the resistance and trying to um, make up teams that could exfiltrate the women because it had to be done from the inside, it was mm -hmm. an insider's job, so, you know, these people risked their lives also to, to save these women. So much of it was about not becoming that victim and staying in that place, but becoming yeah. the resistance, really. Thank you for bringing that up. Uh, that's what drew me to the story, because I think as women, we've been fed so many narratives where, you know, the woman is a victim and should be a victim and should remain a victim. And I think that um, the fact that we women uh, start telling our own stories are showing you know, new directions in that narrative. And I think a lot of the stories that I'm starting to hear and, and, and that I uh, witnessed over there is about women who actually take their own fate in their own hands and don't want to be victims. You know, they want to um, keep their heads up and, and, and fight, and, and a lot of us do that every day. And I think that's what echoes with the movie, the fact that so many of us fight every day mm. and don't want to be victims. You know, but this is some sorority. These women carry guns and grenades. You know, yeah. these women, uh, the circumstances of their lives, uh, being separated from their family, their sons being taken away from yeah. them, them being raped, never knowing really what the future is going to hold, and all of a sudden, uh, you know, they arm up and yeah. they're ready to take on these uh, the, these terrible people. Yeah. We have a clip from the movie. Let's uh, take a look at Girls of the Sun. Pevista Hamuman and Pusera La Hope came. Chenek the twine in Berkeley Green. Girdushman had a bird anum. I that one of Taki Levacum. Well, I'm a cabalea. Ewa Behazen Buntan Lera, Sir Cotana. Kabul the Kerdenis, Jirdesti, Sir Cotana. Sher Kerden, Sir Cotana. Well, you have to marvel at the bravery of these women at the same time while you were putting this together. You also dealt with a certain amount of danger and being fearful at times. Yeah, but I mean, honestly, it's just ridiculous compared to what they had to go through. Um, um, you know, yes, I, I took some risks, but they were so inspiring that, you know, whatever fear I had, I felt that, you know, I had the duty to just go over that and, and, and convey their words, convey their stories, because so much of that just gets swallowed up by, by the cycle of news, you know, and, um, and I think it's very different when you watch it on the big screen. You can show the emotional journey and the full depth of what it means to go from being a regular attorney, for example, like Bahar, the main character, to a fighter. And how do you do that transformation and how do you inspire other people? Because this is really not a movie about, um, you know, feeling down at the end. It's, it's I think at the, at the end you feel empowered because of the inspiration that they give you. And, uh, and 
That was my my main point, I guess, you know, so to convey that. Everybody can see this movie, I think, on Friday, right? Yes, in select theaters. Um, FIAF in New York, um, uh, Landmark, and Quad. Very it's nice. also nice that you pay homage to Marie Colvin, yes. uh, who was just an amazing journalist. Because war reporters, on top of it, have not been, you know, given the the. Um, the credit and the respect I think they deserve because without them we would not know these stories. Uh, we wouldn't be aware of the things that we need to be aware of and, and you know nowadays um, borders have been sort of erased and, and what happens over there sort of has an impact on us. I, I was very conscious of that because of the attempt in Paris, the, the, you know, the terrorist attacks right. in Paris and, and the fact that it, it's a world where everything is very uh, fluid. Well, right. we're so uh, happy to meet you, and thank, thank you. you so much for sharing this beautiful film with us. Girls of the Sun opens tomorrow. Ava, we appreciate you thank coming you. on Good Day New York. All right, when we come back...